I think I'm in EST. It's currently 1.58 a.m. Waiting for Wendy, uh, something to render. No, I'm waiting for something to upload to finish uploading. There are dogs in the background, two dumb puppies who bark at anything. So if they bark in this video, if you hear them in this video, apologies in advance. Anyway, I'm always mentioning Shush! Anyway, the younger one is making noise. I'm... Of course they choose when I'm talking to start making noise. We're going to change locations. It's a bit closer to the puppies, actually. But maybe because I'm moving, they'll stay quiet. Maybe because I'm closer and it's like, oh, what is she doing? They'll stay quiet. Anyway, I just wanted to go over the reality of things because it's May, actually it's May 2nd now, May 2nd now, a week, um, you know, Eurovision 2023, about to roll out soon enough. Um, I just wanted to go over the reality of what it is that I actually listen to. I have my rankings, I will link my latest video or something and you can see the rankings in that video, I'll try and put the rankings in this video as well. But I just want to go through what I stay listening to regularly, 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 regularly. And it's nothing to say about what I actually think is going to happen in terms of who I think is going to move on, blah, blah, blah. It's just the songs I end up listening to. And I don't think that it's necessarily reflective of my ranking. Um, I think the songs I rank, I rank them for reasons in terms of song competitiveness, whatever, I think they're still appropriately ranked. But in terms of what I like to listen to, in terms of what stays listening to, as opposed to just like, oh, this is a great song, I listen to it every now and then. Let's get to it. The way we're going to be doing this is looking at my on repeat. And my on repeat, as far as I know, the on repeat tend to be of the songs you're listening to regularly. The songs you're listening to the most are going to appear at the top. And the songs you listen to less are going to appear at the bottom. So we're going from top to bottom. I'm going to read my Eurovision songs that appear. Only my Eurovision songs that appear. What's funny is that there is a song from San Remo. <laughs> That's not the song from Italy. Um, but number one currently, and I will say disclaimer, a lot of these are, uh, we're in the car going to do errands. Going to shop for things that are needed. And this is on... A 20 minute drive sometimes it's just on a hour longer drive anyway the song list number one tattoo we're in um sweden i'm not surprised she's my number three she's my number one of the non of the big not of the big five right she's number one uh number two is number five on my list so far is if you don't want lazara France. Okay, that's two. Number three, Song of Mr. Spava. This is so far. Song of Mr. Spava uh, from Serbia with Luke Black. Really looking like my top list. Um, honorable mention, not a European song, but was the runner up, Air, Marcus and Martinez. Um, okay, anyway, number four, we've got Bridges, Alaka. Honestly, Estonia, this is like, this is my top already, so. After that, we've got Echo from Iru from Georgia. Then we've got Promise Voyager, okay. Six songs. Six songs, okay. Um, next, we've got AIA from Spain. Now, if you're like, wait a minute, why is your number one not higher up? Why is my number one number seven on my on repeat? AIA, love that song. Song is a bop. Still is my number one. It's not going to change. Um, it's just some songs are easier to listen to because some songs are just less heavy, less emotional. That song, you feel the pain 
you feel you feel a pain in your ovaries, right? You feel the pain in your in your in, you feel the pain in your ovaries. You feel the the pain of generations, right? Generations past. You feel the pain of death. You feel the grief. It's it's a lot that song, but the song number seven, and I still listen to it because it's great. Um, then we have Heart of Steel, Torchy. Now, I think generally speaking, I enjoyed the Eurovision version more, but I haven't listened to it so much. So, and that's probably this 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 placement on this list has to do a lot with the fact that it's just been out like the longest of these respective songs so far. I've listened to that song a lot longer than the other ones, so that is still on there. Testament, and then skipping ahead, um, I will say that the song from San Remo that's still on here is Fudo Day. Okay, Palenquera. So we've got My Sister's Crown, Vesna. And that's it. So, you know, this year, it's maybe not. It is and it's not. It feels like it's not a competitive year, but I feel like it also very much is because my top songs are all very much very solid songs, in my opinion. Um, a very, a very, uh, I'm, I'm enjoying this year. Um, I have songs that are very easy to listen to, songs that are really solid. It's a very female heavy contest this year. A lot of female voices in the top for me anyway. Um, just solid, I wouldn't say easy listening, but solid songs that, that like pretty much all of them I sing along to. Pretty much all of them I sing along to. I have moments in each song. I'm just like, mm, that's it. That's the moment. That's the vibe, right? So I think the fact that this year that my songs I'm listening to really reflect my top songs. I I expect wildness. I expect wildness from I expect wildness from these this 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 semifinals and this final at, at large. So anyway, thanks Yes. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Goodbye. No. Got pain in the ovaries. I was going to try and insert screenshots, but this is a lot easier taking a video. Also, making the case for other songs on this playlist because they are all super great. Uh, and, you know, some of them, if you happen to see the video, you might recognize as having been on my top 100 of last year. But I'm still looking to change that. I don't want that to be the case that I have so many songs doubling over into 2023. Anyway, check out the rest of these songs. They're also super great. Uh, if I miss something, let me know. It, like I said, it is 1, essentially 2 a.m. when I did this. But uh, anyway, yeah, bye.